<laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. Have at you, snake! even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single hope that I held on to. And that hope... kept me alive. Snake... I wanted... to see you again. Meryl... That's my Kodak. Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon... Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. 
Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? He's... He's... Fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up. Hurry! Mm, looking good, Snake. Shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Liquid's dead. Uh-oh. Snake! He's dead, that means... Don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. 
It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. <laughs> well, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in his programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling's with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry. But he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you.